Joseph, tough times in Australia as the commodity boom ends and miners cut back on their costs. But what's this doing to the Australian economy, in particular to Australian banks? We've heard today from Commonwealth Bank. What have they said? Well, I mean, look at valuations first, because even though tough times are becoming ever more apparent in the Australian economy, you wouldn't see this by looking at the price to earnings ratio for Commonwealth Bank, which is 15 times forward earnings. It's price to book ratio, which is 2.7 times, which is, you know, among banks worldwide, quite high. Uh, and it's market cap, which is $120 billion, or two Barclays, as you could call it, in, in UK banking terms. Uh, so that, the, I mean, the, the shares are saying nothing wrong then. <laughs> Underlying that is it? Well, I mean, yeah, if you look at those four year results, you know, for the year ended June, uh, net profit after tax of $8.6 billion, which is a 14% increase. Um, it's fairly sort of decent credit growth. Um, you know, uh, it's also a big bank, a big retail bank. You know, in a market dominated by big four institutions, that matters a lot. And uh, Commonwealth has a quarter each of retail deposits, home loans, and so on. And you know, it's fairly well run. Return on equity is 18%. Pretty good. Even so, even if you're owning a large yieldy bank, you are still owning a bank and you have to watch where credit trends are going, and I don't think they look very good. So where are they going in Australia? What are the signs? Well, I mean, another really sort of fascinating number is Australia has not had a recession in 23 years, uh, which is like the longest period of almost any developed country apart from the Netherlands, which got to 27 years before it had a recession. Uh, in that time, that means Australian households have never really had to adjust in the way US or UK, for example, households had to after the financial crisis. And the effects are debt to income for Australian households is like one and a half times. Um, house prices to income are five times. These are both very high. And therefore, if there is any slowdown or any market increase in unemployment, which is already at 12 year high because of the collapse of the mining boom, uh, it's looking very precarious. Well, expensive banks in a difficult position. Joseph, thanks very much.